Good morning, sunshine. Uh, or afternoon, or evening, or whatever. Uh, I'm not sure what time you're listening to this, so I guess I should say good day? Um, wait, but it might be night. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> well, whatever time it is, I hope it's a good one. Or if not, that it'll be better soon. Maybe you can go get a snack or something to make your day better. You know, a little treat. <laughs> when I say it like that, it makes it sound like you're some small, tiny little creature. Like you're a little animal from one of those cute storybooks that goes on adventures and does human things. But they're a little animal, so it's a million times cuter. Just go on, little bunny rabbit. Go get a little treat from the little bunny rabbit market. Get a tiny little carrot cake or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, uh, I mean, obviously, you're not a rabbit. Uh, you're not going to tell your little rabbit market, as far as I know. Um, <laughs> you get what I mean. Uh, get yourself a treat or something, all right? Or just dinner, <laughs> since I know that you skipped dinner last night. That's right. I know you did. I know you spent the entire night watching whatever show you are watching. You're making posts about it, like all night. I kept telling you that you should get food, but did you listen? No, of course not. I mean, you kept saying you would, but knowing you, you ever just ate some ice cream and thought that would be good enough. <laughs> All right, that settles it. New plan. No getting a little treat. You need to get yourself dinner. Like, an actual meal. Something of substance. You can get a dessert with it too, but seriously. Get yourself a good dinner. And I'm going to call you and make sure that you do. <laughs> okay. Right. I'm going to stop bugging you about your terrible eating habits now. For now. Because I'm actually calling to tell you something else. <clears throat> so, I was taking a walk this morning, right? And I decided to go by one of the parks. And I decided to go by that one park with the huge fountain in the center. But I took a different path than I usually do. And it went back to that wooded area. You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, anyway. Um, so I was walking back that way. Because who doesn't love a good adventure in the morning, right? And you'll never guess what I found. It was a gazebo with a ton of picnic tables. <laughs> I think it used to be part of the park. But it looks like no one's been taking care of it. So everyone's just kind of forgotten about it. Which is a shame, since it's so pretty. I mean, it's kind of overgrown with weeds, but that just makes it even better, in my opinion. It almost looks like something out of one of those fairy tale weddings, like, it came right of a picture book. It looks like a perfect place to take someone on a date to. The picnic tables are still in pretty good condition, and the scenery is seriously breathtaking. We could just get some food together and spend an entire afternoon out there be a lot of fun. I mean, it would be a great date spot if I had someone to go on a date with. <laughs> actually, while I'm thinking about it, um, and while I actually have the nerve to say something about it, there's something I've uh, wanted to tell you lately. Um, so... We've known each other for a while now, and we've gotten to be pretty good friends. I'd like to think that I know you pretty well. Well, actually, I think that I know you really well. Like, really well. We talk a lot, after all. I, I know all the things you like and dislike, all your favourite shows, movies, songs, and everything like that. And... I even know everybody you've had a crush on. I mean, I only knew because you told me. But you also acted kind of different around them. You smiled a lot around them. You liked to be close to them. <laughs> even though you'd get all flustered when you did. It's kind of funny, actually. And pretty cute, too. <laughs> um, I guess what I'm saying is that you're one of my best friends. And I know you well enough to know that you're really into someone. And that being said, well, <laughs> I can tell you're into me. 
you have feelings for me like romantic feelings <laughs> you've been getting a lot more shy around me I guess is the best way to describe it you just seem different like you're scared I'm gonna find out that's the thing about it I couldn't not notice you've been acting so strange and I was trying to figure out why but and I realized what it was. You like me. I mean, clearly you more than like me, but you know what I mean. You want to be more than friends. You want to date me. <clears throat> um, I guess, guess I, uh, I guess I wanted to say that if you did want to ask me out, I'd say yes, because I, uh, more than like you, too. <laughs> um, it's completely up to you, though, why... I, I don't know if it's just some passing crush, and you're not making your moves because you won't have a crush on me in a month from now. That happens, I totally get it, or... If you're concerned about making things awkward, um, I get that, too. That's totally reasonable, but, uh... Um, I just wanted to tell you that, uh, if you ever did want to, you know, ask me out on a date, then I'd say yes. No question about it. Um... <clears throat> um so, yeah, that's uh, everything I wanted to say, so, um, I'll just talk to you later. Alright, um, <laughs> bye, <laughs> have a good day, or night, or, oh my god, um, I'm not gonna get an answer, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go now so I don't embarrass myself anymore, uh, stay safe, get some food, alright, um, See you later. Bye.